Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last video we were able to populate the set of addresses and now we can also select the particular address and these are the, the different options we have to do the payment like different card, different card, credit card, UPI and all but we will enable only card options. This is how we are showing all the addresses. So I just converted that from the flex to grid so that I can show multiple addresses vertically stacked inside a CSS grid. It's like a grid we are using. And then the next is we wanted to show the model pop-up so that we can add a new address. So now we are showing all the addresses in the list. Now when you click on add new address, what should really happen? I should be able to open a new model pop-up or a form somewhere or maybe uh, there is a right sidebar swipe or some panel should open there we can have a simple form when you save it it should create a new address that's the one way or just create a model pop-up so i was just exploring the different libraries like okay chakra ui or just create a simple bare bone minimal model pop-up that we can show and hide based on the button click so uh, i tried to i don't want to uh, add a, a huge library like chakra ui and model pop-ups and all I was just playing with this, but I didn't find uh, that much impressive. So we are just going to use a simple model pop-up. Okay, model pop-up that gives you simple form. And when you click on to some button, it should be able to pop up. And then you should be able to show the model pop-up. Like here I have a huge state show model. So once the show model is true, that means I need to show the model where user can enter the the state, city, street, um, country, zip code, all the other information. So add new, we are just toggling this particular show model property. So when you click on to this, I can see the, the model pop up coming up, right? But I just need to take care of some coloring and all so that this can be more visible because this is only show and hide thing. It uh, doesn't look that much good. But for now, just for the demo purpose, we can just use it. Input types would be text. And here we are going to fulfill all the input types like city, state, street, uh, zip code, street address and all. So it's like a simple form with a submit. And when you do the form submit, we should be able to get all these values. Uh, we need to write a own change handler on all the text fields. So whatever you are typing should be populated in the, the simple state. We are, we are going to use a simple use state hook for all these properties. So here we can see how it looks like add address. So when you click on to add address, this is the form we see. Now this form doesn't look that great, but that's fine. Now when you save it, what should happen is there is a on change handler. We need to add an on submit handler on change handler to capture the, the different form data you are submitting from the different fields of the form. So we can write a one common handler uh, form data set form data equal to huge state and initialize the state with all these properties we have in the uh, state. So all those things we can populate. And then set form data. So all the input text will, will get the value using form data dot city form data dot state let long country pin code and all this is the on change handler which is for all the input text field because we don't have a drop down this is all input text field so we can just do a form data and then we can override based on the key and value of the event object event dot target dot name event dot target dot value so a one common handler can do all the capturing all the properties based on the id and the name attribute in the input text field you also need to make sure that the name event.target.name and id uh, should be the same and it should be it should be the same as the property you wanted to get from the input text field let's say input type uh, text name uh, is city and the id is city so that means it is going to give you this event.target.id event.target.name is city and the value is event.target.value so whatever you are typing in the city will be updated in the form data state. It will update only city property. It's like, a, I think you already know how to write a common on change handler for a multiple input text fields. So here we have registered this on change handler. 
you can also populate the state in this text field using value equal to form data dot city form data dot name form data dot country and all those properties now when you save this form what we are doing is on submit handle submit on the handle submit you can actually uh, call the create uh, address i mean it was just for demo but you can also use the react hook forms which i always use which provides all the validations uh, all the messages you can see for all the required parameters and all this is really easy to set up and easy to use and provides all the different hooks all the different handlers to take care of uh, the form submissions form validations form validation messages and errors and everything okay now next thing we are going to play with is how to set the selected address so we can just set a custom class when you click on to this we can just highlight that particular address and set that address in the selected address object of the redux and now we will just start with the stripe so this is a checkout credit card we are passing the address and the menu items okay so all the menu items which are added in the card and the selected address we are passing to this checkout credit card component because currently we are showing only this there can be other options also when you click on to these tabs of the card of payment options you can show you can render the different components and here we are using card element credit card element and there is a handle submit so when you submit here this is how it looks like when you configure the card element then you will see because currently all the other options are disabled by default we are showing only stripe payment interface so it accepts the card numbers uh, expiry cvc and the zip code okay and it is all happening on the test phone so it won't uh, process anything but we can still try to submit this so when you do the payment we already have a handler for it on submit handler and that on submit handler will check lots of things like uh, it will hit the intent api from the back end uh, payment service get the secret and initiate and confirm payment so this is a card element and then there is a on submit method so this element is coming from the use elements and these are different uh, possible options which you can do on submit handle submit so when you do handle submit what we are checking that the stripe object is there the element object is there if it is not there then just return the the value and here in the the right hand side also because uh, we need to show the total payment which you need to make so i just added a uh, some snippet html snippet that will just show you okay what is your total payment if you want to apply coupon then you can do this what is your bill detail what are the taxes in tax we have added what is your final payment which you need to do because the final payment also we need to pass to the payment service to get the intent secret okay this is how we do it and these are the sample card numbers which you can try so here is we have i think handle submit method and that handle submit method will will deal with like how we are going to work with the the payments okay and here you can see the create payment method inside a create payment we are passing all these first of all payload the order id and also before creating the payment we need to have an order created we can hit the order service order post that will create an order we will get the order id and we will pass that in the payment service payment create payment create payment should return the payment intent secret let's see what it is inside here i think there is a commented code which we need to uncomment first of all we need to initialize so this is a server side part that's also important how we are initializing the uh, stripe at the server side okay so this dot stripe equal to new stripe and we are passing a stripe api secret key i think line 33 is not needed we are not connecting to stripe stripe is just okay it will give you the instance of the stripe so this dot stripe i'm just trying to import this correctly 
I think we don't need to specify types here. Let's uh, check in the, the docs how we are importing a stripe. So this secret key, uh, okay, there is a, one or another argument we need to pass as the API version, which should be the latest because we are import, we have imported the latest uh, library. It should be, I think, you can see the version is 2023.816 we need to pass. It's a constant, it should be the same. This is the API version you are using. So we got the, the stripe object. Okay, this line 35 is not correct. Uh, I used to have a proxy client, so we can remove it. On module and it is not needed. We got the stripe object. And now while creating the payment, we can just uh, create the intent also. So at line 74, what we are doing is stripe.payment intent.create total amount and currency. Before that, you need to go to the Stripe interface and get the private secret key and populate that in your ENV so that your uh, this constructor inside the constructor, you can get the Stripe object. And then here you can see I need to pass this particular key value secret uh, Stripe API secret key. So here is the Stripe API key. I need to activate the payment right now it's deactivated but still I, th I think I can explore the, the interface. This is the publishable API key and the secret key. Both these keys you need, secret key you need for the server side, publishable API key you need at the React client side when you are doing a load SDK, load the stripe. So now we can hit the other services we have which is a payment service and order service. This is, I think, uh, this is a payment service. And here we are passing, we can also create the payment and the, you can see this is the intent secret is there, client secret inside this object. This will help us to make the, con make the payment and the confirm the payment. These are the payment method allow type. So this is how, this is the server side part which I'm talking. I, I put the actual my API secret key and was able to hit this API and got the secret key. This, this, these APIs are already protected by the cookies. You can see it's not like, okay, I, I'm not passing the authorization header. These are already protected by cookies and already the cookies are set for the local host. So you don't need to pass them in the authorization header. So here, this is, these are the steps we are going to perform. Create payment, HTTP post that is going to create payment intent and give you the secret key. Then, here we will create an order. So I think the order will already be created. We will just passing the order ID in the create payment. We will get the secret from the server response and initiate the payment at the React SDK. Because on the React side also we are doing a load stripe, passing the publishable API key, public API key you can see. And then we are initiating the payment and then doing the confirm payment. So it's all about lots of things we are going to do at the client side like using external API, create the order, pass the order ID in the create payment, got the secret key and initiate the payment and then the confirm the payment. So here this is the handle submit. Here we are going to write the important logic, how it all really works. So here we are checking that stripe object is there. So if stripe is not there, element is not there, return. Otherwise, get the card element first. So this C can be lowercase card element we got and this card element we can use to initiate and confirm payment. So first of all, we'll create the order. So we already have external API dot create order and order requires two things. Okay. What is inside a cart and what is your address ID and restaurant ID, all sort of stuff. So here we can just await uh, external API dot create order. So here we need to clean up all these methods, update payment status, create payment, create order. We are, don't need to pass the config because it's all cookie based. So we'll remove the passing of the config. Config earlier used to contain the authorization header that we don't need now. So here on this interface, we will just create order. External API dot create order. Order. We got the order ID. Now we'll create the payment. 
once payment equal to await external API dot create payment and pass the order ID, pass the cart, menu items and all the required things which you need to have to create the payment because this requires the payload to be passed. So here it contains uh, one argument. So we need to pass the whole object cart. So this is the cart object and inside that we have an order ID. Go to order.id. Now let's see how it all works. So we created a pay order, we created a payment, payment got the from payment we are returning another promise. So inside then dot then block, we are actually creating the payment method stripe dot create payment method. Here type is the card and element. Card is the card element we have. So it's again a promise because card element does exist. We can just do the check if card element doesn't exist, then return because we cannot proceed further without having the card element. So it seems it's it's going to return a promise. So we can do a dot then on that. And uh, we already got the response from the payment service and that response we are going to use to get the secret. So payment method I'm not sure uh, I need to check the docs payment method object. So payment method is the argument we got and here we can create our uh, object client secret equal to response dot. I think it should be response dot client secret. And payment method ID equal to payment method dot payment method ID. So this payment method, let's uh, suppress the types to any. I think this dot then promise should be attached to create payment method. Let's see here we are getting the data. So we need to resolve this resolve. We need to resolve this particular one. So there is a some small mistake. Yeah, this is the promise and we can format it. Remove this line. Okay. Now we got the, we are resolving this data. So we got the client secret. We got the method ID. If there is an error, just reject this promise from this dot then block. If everything is fine, we can just do a dot then because we have created a payment method and now we can start acting on to the acting or start working on the confirming the payment. So first we created a payment method. We, go, we are passing client secret and the payment method ID. That resolved data will be available here in this dot then line 46. This response object contains the client secret and payment method ID. Okay, stripe dot confirm payment and here we got the response object. So response is of type any. So confirm payment, we need to pass the client secret and the argument payment method equal to payment method ID. Response dot payment method dot ID. Okay. So you already know what we were resolving. We were resolving a data containing two properties, client secret and payment method ID. So we are just using both in dot then client secret and payment method ID line 46 and 48. Once this is resolved, everything is fine. That means this is a payment success. Confirm payment, you do a dot then or dot catch. If it is going inside this dot then that means payment has been successfully executed. You update the payment status, you update the order status and order is confirmed and you do the delivery partner assignment. If this is a catch block, that means uh, payment failed so order status will still be in progress payment status will be failed so that we know okay the payment was tried but payment has been failed so this is how you can deal with this uh, stripe sdk at the client side after getting this uh, client secret from the server side you just need to confirm payment and confirm payment contains these two callbacks like okay dot then and dot catch that will deal with what to do when the payment is successful and the payment is failure So this is all about the payment interface with the Stripe.
now in the next video we will explore more we will integrate it we will hit these apis really and we will